pulpit ministry, video number two, uh, distractions. One of the hardest things to navigate in the pulpit is distractions. Now we want to communicate a message, but people in the audience are getting distracted by you know, many different things. You know, the noise of the air conditioner, the lighting, the sound of your voice, the, you know, if there's any technical issues going on. Now some of these distractions we can control and we can try and control, but other distractions we can't. Now some of the distractions that may detract from what you're trying to say, and we can control them, and some of them are simple things like how we dress. You know, if, I, if, if, uh, if I'm speaking to our church, we have a few people in our church that may be offended about somebody getting on stage with a hat on or thongs on or just looking untidily dressed. In, in that regard, we just, we'd recommend that we just dress smart casual shoes, you know, just smart sort of pants and shirt. Now, we don't want people to be distracted by the wrong things. We want, we want to be able to communicate the message that God's given us, you know, clearly and effectively. And all these, if there's a distraction, that's a negative distraction, and we can control it, let's control it. Be humble enough to say, that might be an issue for somebody, so let's, let's just take that issue out. Also, ladies, you know, the way you dress, the way, way we or you uh, dress can be a distraction. I hope you understand and know that, especially for young, young men. Uh, some clothes are clingy and highlight different parts. So that's what, something you can sort of think about before you get up. And also be aware that people are actually looking up at you. They're not looking at your face, they're looking up at you. So that may even be a consideration when you consider uh, what to wear before you speak. Um, so any other distractions you can think of, just something to consider when you speak. You know, even, even with how loud your voice is, how you, how you put your tone up and down. Different things that you can just use in your communication style that can help people be engaged to the message you're trying to send. Not, not other things that are detracting from that message.